What's going on, guys? So what are the best things to own in GTA Online in 2024? Feel free to drop something in the comments on your own opinion, man. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a few of what I think is the best things to own. And uh, don't forget to hit that like button for me. I'd appreciate it. So uh, to start off, man, on the internet on your phone, obviously, we go back here, internet. <laughs> uh, Southern San Andreas, man, the first thing you guys want to make sure you have, right, is this new thing right here, the Pegasi Pizza Boy. You know what I'm saying? You want to be able to make sure you can deliver pizzas out here like your Spider-Man in 2024. This is absolutely insane. It's only 195000 Get you one today, head ass. Nah. <laughs> the second thing you want to have is this. Nah, let me quit playing. Um, nah, so go into, <laughs> go into Warstock Cash and Carry, man. Um, the Terabyte, man. The Terabyte. If you guys don't have this right here, obviously most of you guys already do. But the main reason you need to have this is so you can uh, fill up your explosive ammo, things like that, you know, customize your weapons. You can't do the same thing with the MOC trailer, the Mobile Operations Center uh, trailer. Uh, but now nah, get this right here, man. And also you can bring your uh, bike in there, your uh, presser back in there, fly it in there, fly it back out, refills your missiles, stuff like that. Um, and what else am I missing? Uh, you can't, you got to have the MOC trailer uh, if you don't have the MOC trailer, you can't do um, you can't hide your loadout. So you need to hide or have the loadout in the uh, MOC trailer. The terabyte does not have it in there to where you can hide the weapons. So I definitely recommend you guys also getting the uh, um, MOC truck and the terabyte. Okay. So um, let's see. Let's scroll down here a little bit, man. And obviously, you guys probably know what's coming up. If you guys don't have this bad boy right here, man, the infamous oppressor Mark II in 2024. You guys need to make sure you get this right here, man, because this is probably one of the best vehicles in the game. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I ain't trying to flex or anything, but this thing right here, man, has uh, has won me a lot of achievements. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I really appreciate Rockstar for putting this in here. So you can buy it right here for $8 million. This used to be cheaper, I'm pretty sure. I think it used to only be like, what, five, six million? But Rockstar increased the price. I could even be wrong on that. I don't know. I bought so damn many of them. I can't even remember, but... The main objective for this, I think, originally was to get around faster for grinders, but then it kind of became more of a, a griefing tool, obviously. But it is still good to get around fast to the map. Um, you can use the Deluxo, you can use the Scramjet, the Torridor, anything like that also. But definitely one of the best things in the game to have or own, uh, for sure, out here in 2024. And I definitely recommend you guys buying at least, uh, at least five of them. Um, you can't call them in back to back like you used to be able to because Rockstar put the damn timers in But it's just nice to have in case it gets blown up, whatever, you know what I'm saying The next thing you guys need to have is this shit right here It's even discounted from 4.6 million to 3.2 million head ass Come on man, get you a squad car Looking ass, nah <laughs> Um, let's see the next thing, scroll down the list And by the way, I just saw this If you guys have this, get rid of it, it It's just... Is done man like you can I think you can um, go stealth with this um, yeah still stealth capability so you can go stealth with this uh, but to me man it's a slap in the face if you used to fly the laser jet because the laser jet let's be honest that was the best jet in the game and they literally nerfed it to hell you know what I mean you can't do anything with that damn thing um, the missiles are or the cannons are all over the place you could probably still get kills with the cannons but that thing, man, or the uh, the missiles. You still get kills with the missiles, but you can't get kills with the cannons worth nothing. I mean, you can, but they're just spreading all over the place, and it's just crazy. And why in the hell are all these different cars in here like this? What is going on? Come on, Rockstar, really? Come on now, man. This is insane. So, the next thing I recommend you guys to get is the Zaba. Headass. Nah. <laughs> Let me scroll down here. Let me scroll down. Where is it at? Where is it at? Come on. Come on. Where is she at? Right here. The LF-22 Starling. If you guys don't have this, man, you need to get this. This right here, man, is definitely, I guess you could call it OP. Um, very good for dive bombing. Very good if you like aerial. Um, if you're an aerial style player uh, or flying, whatever, um, you know. To take out people on the ground you can use the thermal in it also you don't have to but i recommend using the thermal with it completely op man and it's uh it's it's so smooth man when you're flying it and you get those kills man because like i said dive bombing on somebody now they can't hit you with the e-rounds or something but it's so small 
it's, it's tough for them to hit you. And if you dive bomb on them, they're not going to be able to get you. You know what I'm saying? It's got a boost effect on there, which is nice, and it regenerates. You just don't make sure you don't use it too quick. Um, here's the MOC. I don't know why I wasn't seeing that right there. Um, but yeah, make sure you guys definitely check out the Starling. The MOC truck, like I said, make sure you guys have this also. Because if you don't have this, you won't be able to do your custom weapon loadout. If you guys do not have a custom weapon loadout, you need to have a custom weapon loadout. You know what I'm saying? Um, just a, definitely a 100% recommendation, man. Hide those weapons that you don't use. Because in PvP uh, or PvP tactics and PvP uh, styles, like in free mode, you uh, you don't want to have to deal with something that you're not using and it gets in your way. It's just better to avoid that in general. And so this is probably going to be my last one right here. I recommend you guys use. So the Torridor is a beast, man. You can even go in the water with this thing. Um, the only bad thing I guess you could say is it, I think it takes like four or five missiles to blow up or something. But this thing right here, man, is, is actually crazy. Um, unlimited missiles. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's got a boost effect on it you can use, which is nice. All the glass here, you can be shot out of it kind of easy. But if you're trying to sneak players and stuff, then obviously, you know, going ghost off the radar, things like that can help. But you can't get knocked out of it, shot out of it easy, which is the only downside of it. But, you know, the tracking is not broken on it. The tracking is not even broken on the Deluxo or the Scramjet. It's mainly just the oppressors. So this thing right here will not lose tracking, and it's completely OP. And like I said, can even go in the water. So definitely get that, man. Um, and if you guys are broke um obviously you won't be able to get most of this stuff because this is i don't understand how this is less than the oppressor the oppressor can only hold like 15 missiles i think or 10 missiles something like that this is 4.2 million it's unlimited it's actually better the only benefit of the oppressor mark ii being better than that is that it can go in the air non-stop you know what i mean and not a lot of people like to fly it upside down and so on so on but uh but yeah definitely all the stuff i mentioned man if you guys haven't checked it out already man Make sure you guys check it out. Um, I don't really have anything else in here I'd recommend. I've tried out most of this stuff in here. I want to be honest, man. Use use whatever you think to your best of ability to use to what you think is going to get you the best experience in the game. You know what I mean? These are just my best recommendations for you guys to use. Things have shifted and changed over the course of time. So obviously, it's different now than how it used to be on some things. But uh, like I said, let me know in the comments if you guys have an opinion on this. I'd appreciate it. If you haven't already, hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel. Turn on post notifications. And you guys have a good one. Peace.